the domestic telephone cellular in Indonesia has experienced a significant growth in production over the past five years, 2014 to 2017. This growth is uh, positive because it is strengthening the national uh, industry and reduce the needs for imports. Uh, this development was driven by TKDN policy. Indonesia is one of the largest mobile market in the world with the number of mobile users uh, reaching 142% of total population which means that one person can have, can have more than one uh, mobile uh, phone. If this growth continues, the mobile cellular industry will be able to meet all the domestic needs. The import number of cellular telephone in Indonesia is higher than the export number. This is due to the limitation of raw materials and technology for manufacture of its component. The export contribution of Indonesian telephone cellular is still very very small which is below 1%. Uh, in the case of export, usually the manufacturer will get the request from a client or company with specific amount and custom uh, product design uh, based on their needs and their wants. The import country usually include India, Singapore, and then Timor Leste. There are six industrial branches in tier 2 which are derivative of uh, cellular telephone which the industrial are growing in Indonesia. The six branches are first is uh, the PCB assembly, lithium batteries, battery charger, earphone, USB cable and the last is uh, packaging. The cellular telephone component industry in Indonesia as a support for improving Indonesian economy should get serious attention, especially from the knowledge and the technology aspect. The knowledge and technology transfer are used to facilitate a business growth and increase the efficiency and productivity, which all uh, a role in sustainability, innovation, and performance. It is necessary to create a regulation to encourage the principle to transfer the knowledge and the technology. Therefore, the player in a domestic industry can develop and make innovation.